Nin. How old are you? Thirty. Okay, can you explain it? What do you do for a living? I'm an artist. I say artworks. Come again? I'm an artist. I say artworks. Yeah, you, artworks. Your victim said you asked her if she's afraid of death. You attempted to strangle okay, her. Um, do you have any intention of killing, yes, killing her? If I wanted to kill her, I'd have killed her before they came inside. It so came inside, so I don't kill. I'm not a killer. So, if I wanted to kill her, she would have been dead before they before um, they brought me back to the hotel. So my intention was not to kill her. I'm not a killer. I've never killed before. I just wanted to take her phone. Well, you asked her a question. You yes, asked her. Okay. Um, when when um, when the girls come. Um, I sack them and talk fear into them so they'll be afraid. Um, I didn't, I don't like, I don't owe weapons, guns or anything to threaten them. So I have to sack them psychologically and talk fear into them so they would um, feel like I'm not alone or, you know, something to, to, some, something to just make them be afraid. Yeah. So why did you choose this part? I didn't, I didn't choose this part. I found myself, and I, make a, and I made a mistake. So how do you feel now? And how many of these girls have you done this to? How many said girls four. have you done this to? Four. When, 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 when did you start the business? I said last month. Last month? And um, are your parents alive? I'm not really close. Huh? I'm not really close to them, so I don't know. Are they alive? That's the question. See, we're writing the name of well. Good afternoon, gentlemen of the press. I welcome you once again to Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NFCDC, FCT Command here in Abuja for the parade of suspects that were apprehended for different criminal offenses and on different occasions. But first, let me start with the case of a suspected internet froster, popularly called Yahoo Boy who on Wednesday, 18th of September, 2024, the men of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, FCT Command, apprehended a suspected internet fraudster trying to escape from Top View Hotel, we'll say Zone 5, Abuja. The suspect, 30 years old, by name Joseph Efe, who is of Edo and Ondo origin, was arrested after coming out of the hotel premises, allegedly to meet an accomplice, leaving his victim tied up, a female victim tied up in his hotel room. But for the Eagle Hyde men, of the NSCDC City Command, who were at their sentry posts at the time of the incident. Upon noticing Joseph's suspicious movement, stopped him, but instead of him to stop, the suspect took to his heels after sighting our gallant officers who gave him a hot pursuit, caught him and was led back to his hotel room where the naked girl was found, tied hands and leg with a semi-transparent adhesive tape, otherwise known as cello tape. The victim, by name, Olivia Ijeoma Chuku Emeka, who hails from Habia State, was immediately rescued by my men from the situation where she had been stripped naked already, bound, hand, feet, and mouth. Upon preliminary interrogation and investigation, 
the suspect, Joseph Efe, confessed to being a Yahoo boy and that he has not been making so much money from his exploits and part of their scheme is also to hunt for young girls on dating sites called coded wrongs amongst others. Reports also have it that he operates between Port Harcourt, Lagos, Benin, and Abuja. The command's investigation team immediately swung into action, and our investigation reveals also that the suspect, Mr. Efe, is a serial froster, popularly known as Yahoo Boys, and a thief who specializes in luring ladies on dating sites into hotel rooms with the intent to rob them of their phones and making withdrawals from their victims' bank accounts, amongst other activities which is relatively unknown, but when the investigation fully um, continues, we will begin to unravel other areas of their criminality. Investigation also reveals that the suspect came into Abuja from Lagos on the 17th of September 2024 and firstly lodged into Fab Hotel by top rank adjacent Old Secretariat, Old Federal Secretariat Area 1. So he had already lodged in a hotel before this incident where he was caught by our men. Upon his arrival at the hotel, I just sent Old Federal Secretariat, Area 1, his first victim upon arrival was another lady he invited to his hotel room but could not succeed in his evil act because the lady was stronger and was able to put up some resistance. The noise from this incident attracted hotel staff at the said hotel who came into his room and he succeeded in escaping from the scene due to poor handling of the situation by the hotel security. Upon his escape from Fab Hotel, he then proceeded to Top View Hotel, where he checked in at about 2.30 a.m. of Wednesday, 18 September 2024. He then invited his latest victim who arrived in his hotel room at about 9 a.m. in the morning. Upon their arrival, he threatened putting fears in her mind and holding her by the throat. In all of this, the frightened lady succumbed. She was stripped naked and bound, hands, leg, and mouth by the suspect. Upon checking the victim's phone by the suspect, he discovered the lady had no money in her bank account, and then the victim's Android phone he took and left the hotel room. It was in the process of escaping from the hotel premises that his suspicious movements were noticed by my officers and men at the sentry posts outside the building. But when they stopped him, he took to his heels. But of course, you know, my men are ever gallant and ever ready. And that was why he was able to be apprehended and was made to go back to the hotel room. And at this juncture, let it be made abundantly clear that the said video that is going viral, that is in circulation, on this incident was not shot by the operatives of 
the NFCDC. We only became aware of his existence after it went viral on social media. Of course, recall that the victim, after she was bound, made efforts and made some noise, which also attracted the staff of the hotel. So as at the time, my men were apprehending the suspect, the hotel too, due to the noise made by the lady, had already also moved into action and together the lady was rescued. But of course, the hotel staff were the one that um, forcefully opened the door after the lady made noise and cried for help.